like again we've gotten to that point right in this game where people have discovered so many different techs with diddy kong and mewtwo respectfully and so it's gonna be difficult but i think tumzone is gonna have a lot of work cut out for him because of how big of a character mewtwo is and it's not gonna help at all that tailbox will play a big part in you know these bananas hitting him really it's all up to if infernate can hit his combos we're gonna, we're gonna see that in this in this uh first match yeah, and unfortunately, I think we're going to have a little bit of a delay on our end while we're watching this. Uh, Shoutouts to uh, Twitch.tv slash Collision Series <laughs> TV for at least giving us back and footage until we get our issue resolved. And so far, it looks like Toso has an early damage lead as he's looking for those nares and the Shadow Ball charges are incoming. Yeah, and I mean, again, this is all up to Infernape and how he is going to be able to manage to hit his combos because with Diddy Kong, you have to be so consistent. And I mean, very, very smart usage of the reflector right there from Tonesome to try and reflect the, the barrel, but to no avail and right now in front of on quite the, the, the run right now against Tonesome. Let's see what Tonson does in his extra situation. Yeah, you can't really just go for the jump. Oh, Confusion tries to put Infernape into a weird position, but unfortunately, that Confusion just left to nothing. You know, Command Grab is just. It's fine and all, but when you do the confusion, you get nothing from it. You really just need to hold back on it and just use it as an air solid or a reflector. Nice banana to up smash there from the Rene Ape. Yeah, and that's the combos that you need to see from a character oh. like Diddy Kong. Just huge damage, 41%. You know, as a character that already doesn't do a lot of damage and requires oh a lot of combos. Hey, speaking of combos, right? That down throw into the upper to take that stock. You're gonna need to be really, really good with your combos. Hit it every time. You gotta make all those hits count. And, you know, that could be said for Mewtwo as well. A character that doesn't isn't really known for his combo game, but has really big hitboxes and can kill a character like Diddy Kong super early when given the opportunity to. I also have to correct you on, the, on that kill confirmed that Tozo landed. It wasn't a down throw, it was a down air. Sorry, spike down air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but as you said, oh, yeah, upper just not connecting after the confusion just landing. And uh, Infernape now with another banana. Ooh. Look for a second. Well, I guess the connection because no follow up, unfortunately. We're seeing a monkey flip and now he does a rocket barrel. <gasps> and that unfortunately no. catches Tozo with the shadow ball. I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I think Infernape knew as well that when he saw Tone Stone charge up that Shadow Ball, he was like, all right, I'm going to go in and then hope that Tone Stone isn't ready, isn't anticipating for these barrels to hit. And that's exactly what Infernape did. And he gets a stock off of that. So now Tone Stone needs to get just one or two few reads before it's actually going to take that stuff. Got a ball charge, and that is not unfortunately a stock just yet because it just straight up missed Infernape. On the other hand, Confusion, yeah, he's just getting enough time to air dodge and unfortunately just not becoming a combo. And now we have Inferno just throwing out those peanuts and Ooh. there's a dash attack and you can't air dodge into the blast zone like that. Mm -hmm. Especially a character like Diddy Kong who, again, is, you know, a little bit lighter than the rest of the cast. So those are just situations you have to be aware of and you can't lose stocks like that because give Tone Stone the time to do it and he's going to make these comebacks happen. But this banana has been just good crowd control so far for Inferno. And Tone Stone has had no answer to be able to get off this ledge. Really good edge. Oh my god, those peanuts are putting in work. Maybe he's going nuts about, you know, maybe the, about Diddy Kong's uh, food choices right now. As we're going to see <laughs> four peanuts now, another banana. And now we're going to see Inferno in the advantage state. Now we're going to see double backer comes out. And, oh my god, flip up from that banana into the roll. Oh, but misses the down tilt up smash. I mean, again, a flow to your character like Mewtwo is going to be able to avoid a lot of combos, but that tail box really will not help his cause whatsoever. And Tone Stone able to air dodge off stage, but I feel like it's only a matter of time before a banana hits into like an up smash. No, nope, but the monkey foot might do it here. No, God, not quite. See, and he also there's something else that's something you notice right now. Tone Stone's he's throwing out a lot of confusions for the reflector, but he's not really <gasps> catching Tone Stone going for those reflect options. Forward air, unfortunately, will end the stock there for Tone Stone. And Fernie's gonna take the first game. But Tone Stone, he didn't do so bad. It's just like Diddy Kong's like Ren Fernie's pressure was something different. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's so difficult, you know, against a character that really wants to be up in your face. And Infernape did that super well, just being able to get, you know, these little combos that, while they might not do a lot of damage or will do a lot of damage, you know, still mean a lot. So good stuff for Infernape to hit a lot of his combos while, you know, even though he missed it. And Tone Stone was able to punish a lot of different, you know, um, misses, a lot of missed techs, you know, all these different approach options. So... It's only, you know, you gotta see what Tone Stone can do to adapt. So game two is gonna be very important to see how Tone Stone is able to take this lead and really take control of this match.
Yeah, and it's also going to be interesting where Tone Zone's calendar picks in for eight because you have Mewtwo, you have the projectile advantage with Shadow Ball and Potential Reflector with that confusion, and we're going to elect to go to a small battlefield. And I don't disagree with this pick, but I wonder if this is just going to help Infernape. I definitely think it helps Infernape because the Blast Zones are much smaller now. So moves like Monkey Flip, moves like uh, Forward Air, Back Air, they're going to kill earlier. But again, that could be said for Mewtwo as well in Tone Zone. I mean, oh I've played God. this guy a lot of times. He, you know, tends to charge up his Shadow Ball and go for it you know, these these weaker charges, and you love to see the mix-ups, but you can only do that for so much until you get caught out. Yeah, and now we see Tonesome with that fully charged Shadow Ball. Oh, and tries to go for the Nair Banana combo. Doesn't quite find mm -hmm. there. Another forward air, double forward. They're going to send Tonesome off stage. And that's a really high teleport, but you get back on the stage with the... Uh, oh, you have to... Wow. Teleport's no, you have a jump! I mean, teleport is a good recovery, so, like, yeah, we know Mewtwo is pretty good with his recovery, but... Take your jump away, teleport might not get you to the ledge. Yeah, and clearly, you know, it definitely didn't get him there and honestly has him at a deficit right now. But Tone Zone's kind of struggling right now. You can see a little bit of panic, but he's still, you know, keeping some sort of composure, just getting a few of these reads. Ooh. Gets the tech chase with the up smash, and that's exactly what Tone Zone needed to get back into this game. Here we go, Nair. Banana flip dismisses this down air and dodge right there. Tone Zone survives for another round. Yeah, and survivability is really the name of the game, especially against Diddy Kong. Um, again, lots of combos that are going to hit, and a lot of hitboxes will be thrown, and they just work. You know, they're really good frame data, really good moves that just combo into one another, so Tone Stone's got to be a little bit more careful, but so far, good edge guarding, but unfortunately, allowing oh. Freddy to get back onto stage. And he does so with a Shadow Ball into the air, catches Banana in front of it, and the Rocket Barrel is just going to catch him for a second time to set! Yeah, that's gonna be very detrimental to how Tom oh, here goes the combo. his comeback. It's up tilt, okay. back air. Do we see <gasps> another one? No, that rocket barrel catches him again. Dash attack's gonna put him off stage at least, and now Shadow Ball is gonna miss. Yeah, now Infernape is gonna try and not necessarily oh circle camp, but use his movement to just move around Tom Tom as much as possible. If he hasn't already been doing that, Ooh. what a forward air to catch oh. the rocket barrel oh. up the. <laughs> that Rocket Miller almost caught Tonson on the ledge. Yeah, I was I a little worried. <laughs> I was like, hold your horses. It's not it's quite it's all celebration just yet. Now he's all oh, right. Here's the first banana of the confusion. Okay, a little bit, you know, of damage being dealt by Tonson. Not really going for for the bananas. Granted, uh -oh. he had. <gasps> oh my god. He almost <laughs> beard versus Shadow Ball to his demise. <laughs> I want to see if Tonson can just maintain this banana because, you know, a lot of approaches that Diddy Kong, you know, have require bananas so much and a lot of combos require it. So if Tone Stone just holds onto the banana just a little bit longer and just plays the long range game with the Shadow Balls, I feel like Tone Stone can make this comeback, but who knows? Yeah, who knows indeed. The Shadow Ball comes out nice. onto the shield, gets through with that dash attack, and now once again, the race in disadvantage. Now back to neutral we go. More of oh. these down tilt comes out, and that's a an smash, and then it's a pretty with a 2 0 win on Tone Zone. Yeah, and there I was talking about it before, just that big hitbox is from Tone Zone, the hurt boxes rather from Tone Zone, really, you know, biting him in the back as Infernit takes us 2 0. And while it was not dominating, it definitely was in a in a nice fashion for Infernape. Yeah, it was. Definitely was a fight for trying to start to finish there between Tone Zone and Infernape. It's just like, yeah, at the end of the day, Diddy Conscious has better movement. You know, look at the stock. Oh, wait, it wasn't this one exactly. There was a stock in game one where he just couldn't get past the pop-up, beat the pop peanut gun at yeah. all. And then the banana also gave him trouble. And just, he just just throwing out confusions to no avail. Yeah, and I think that just came down to Tone Zone's not to say inability, right? But just not a lot of mix-ups from Tone Stone's recovery. He was trying to go for a lot of these jumps. Didn't really rely on rolls. Oh, there's, there's the first rocket barrel. Yeah, that, there's the first rocket barrel. But yeah, this is what you were talking about. Just this really good edge guarding from uh, Infernape to force Tone Stone to approach on the stage and ultimately getting punished for that. So again, really good setups from Infernape where you don't see a lot of Diddy Kongs for, go for a pop-up peanut gun. So again, when you use all your kit, it's just so difficult to be able to read what your opponent's going to do. And again, Infernape just locked down Tone Stone, didn't allow him to get any approaches, and just forced him into these weird positions where rocket barrels are going to kill, monkey flips are going to kill, just a lot of things. And hey, Infernape goes on to the next round, and Tone Stone has to fight his way through losers, but it's going to be a very, very tough fight for anyone that gets in Tone Stone's way.
Yeah, you know, definitely want all of you are listening to Mewtwo because Mewtwo is like the last character you want to be underestimating. Mm -hmm. Even though it's like, it's easy for everyone to understand. Oh, it's just Mewtwo. He's just a floaty character. I can just take advantage of the tail hitbox. No, treat it like Samus. Yeah, and speaking of a character like Samus and, you know, treating a character with respect, we got Obic Bob versus Secret. 